You know, losing your phone is just, it's a nightmare. But what if I told you that even if it's turned off, even if the battery's completely dead, it's not truly gone? Let's pull back the curtain on this amazing piece of tech that makes finding a seemingly dead iPhone totally possible. We've all been there, right? That, that heart-stopping moment of panic when you pat your pocket and nothing? It's empty. Your entire digital life, your photos, your contacts, just poof, gone. And then, when you realize the battery's dead, oh man, that panic turns to pure dread. It feels completely hopeless. Well, here's the thing. It's not hopeless anymore. If you've got an iPhone 11 or a newer model, there's this really powerful feature working behind the scenes. And this means a thief can't just turn your phone off to make it disappear. And a dead battery, well, it's no longer the end of the story. So how does this so-called magic actually work? Well, it's not magic at all, really. It's a brilliantly designed system called the Find Mind Network. Let's break it down. Okay, so the whole system is built on this really cool idea of a crowdsourced network. Picture this. Your lost iPhone sends out a secure, totally anonymous Bluetooth ping. Any nearby Apple device, you know, an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac, can pick up that signal, note its location, and then securely report it back to you. The best part? It's completely private and encrypted. It's like a silent army of devices all helping each other out. And here's the absolute key to the whole thing. When you power down a modern iPhone, it doesn't actually turn completely off. No way. It just slips into this ultra low power mode, sipping just enough battery to keep its little Bluetooth beacon active for hours. That is what makes this whole system possible. It's not dead, it's just sleeping. But here's the catch, and this is a big one. This amazing feature doesn't just work right out of the box. You have to enable it before you lose your phone. So let's walk through exactly how to make sure you're protected. All right, first things first, let's make sure the main feature is even on. You can follow along right on the screen, go ahead and open up your settings, tap your name right at the very top, then head into Find My, and then tap Find My iPhone. Just make sure that main toggle is switched on and, you know, green. Okay, now, right below that main toggle, you're gonna see two more crucial options. The first one, Find My Network, is what lets all those other Apple devices help find yours when it's offline. That's the magic we were talking about. And send last location. That gives Apple a final little ping right when the battery is about to die. You're gonna want both of these turned on for sure. So, you wanna be 100% sure you've set it up correctly? Easy. Just try powering down your phone. Right under that slide to power off bar, you should see a little message that says iPhone findable after power off. If you see that text, you're golden, you're all set. Okay, so you've done all the prep work. Great. Now. The worst has happened, and your phone is missing. Let's cover the exact steps you need to take to track it down. You basically have two main ways to go about this. If you have another Apple device, like an iPad or a Mac, just open the Find My app. Your phone will pop right up on the map. But hey, if you don't, no problem at all. Just hop on any web browser, on any computer, and go to iCloud.com find. Now let's switch gears for a second and talk about a much scarier scenario. If you suspect your phone wasn't just misplaced, but that it was actually stolen, you need to act fast to protect your data. Seriously, time is absolutely critical here. Inside the Find My app or on the website, you'll see an option to mark as lost. Think of this as your emergency button. Hitting it instantly locks the phone so nobody can get in, it deactivates Apple Pay, and, this is really helpful, it lets you put a custom message on the lock screen like, this phone is lost, please call this number. It's an absolutely critical first step. Before we wrap up, I've got one last pro tip for you. And honestly, this is a really crucial step that can stop a smart thief from disabling Find My before you even have a chance to track your phone down. So think about your control center for a second. You know that menu you swipe down to get to Wi-Fi and airplane mode? By default, anyone can access this right from the lock screen. And that means a thief could just grab your phone, swipe down, and instantly put it in airplane mode, cutting it off from the network. But we can fix that and it's super easy. Okay, here's how you do it. Head back into settings and then go to face ID and passcode. It'll ask for your passcode, so go ahead and enter that. Then, just scroll down until you see the section called Allow Access When Locked. Find Control Center in that list and just toggle it off. It might be a tiny inconvenience for you later, but believe me, it is a huge roadblock for a thief. So there you have it. By taking just a few simple steps, you've transformed your phone from a pretty easy target into a much more secure, trackable device. You've really put the power back in your hands. And it kind of makes you wonder, what other digital weak spots might you have overlooked? Thank you.